Okay, so some of you may have tried the Windows 7 beta already, and uh, one of its interesting features that I liked was the one, you can set it up so it changes the background every minute or however long you want it to be. Well, I thought that was pretty cool, so I came back on Vista and Googled around and looked for a program that does that, and of course I wanted it to be free, so I found it and uh, it changes your background at whatever interval you want. You can have as many pictures as you want. It's not a trial, it's completely free. As you can see, my background just changed. And uh, I'll give you the link in the description for the direct download. But um, here it is anyway. Just, just in case. I don't know if you can see it all down here from the view. But uh, let's make it bigger. Right there. You might be able to read it now, I don't know. So, yeah. It should look, it's about uh, one megabyte. It's fairly small. Um, I don't know where I put the actual down, oh, here you go. It's, uh, yeah, about one megabyte. Um, it shouldn't take too long to download for, like, anybody. It took me less than a second. And, uh, when you start it up, it should look like... It'll have this little icon down in the corner, and it should look like this with your picture list right here, and you can add pictures, and my background just changed again. I have it set to change every minute, so, uh, okay, yeah, it's pretty neat, check it out. Okay, some of you... Uh, with y new computers may have multi-core processors such as quad, triple, or dual-core. Um, I recently upgraded from a dual-core processor. As you can see, I have quad-core now. It's uh, AMD Athlon. No, uh, it's a Phenom. My bad. Um, uh, quad-core BE at... I'm not sure what the clock rate is here. Uh, it's 2.6 gigahertz. Anyway, um, when I got my quad-core processor, I was wondering if I could set certain programs to a certain core, and, well, you can. As you can see, one of my cores are um, working harder than the others, and that is because I have the screen recording program that I have now um, set to use only the fourth core. And how to do that is it's pretty simple. Is all you got to do is... Uh, uh, your Windows program, you, uh, any windowed program pretty much can do it. Or any program that appears here. And what you do is you have to go to the Task Manager and you can go to Process. <coughs> right click and go to Process. Then you, it'll bring you to the process and it'll see here's my Internet Explorer. And I want to set it to use only Core 1, for example. So what I do is I go to Set Affinity. And here are your cores. <coughs> and you just uncheck the ones that you don't want it to use. It's that simple. Okay, um, there's a neat little trick you can do with your XP or Vista operating system. I don't know if you can do it on any previous versions of Windows, but uh, you can change the date and time have your name in it and it's pretty simple what you have to do is you go to your control panel and this is my control panel right here and you go to regional and language options it's the same on XP um, and what you do is you open that up and on Vista it says customize this format since you have whatever language in current or your current format right there so you customize it on XP it'll have the customize button right next to the current format and it's pretty much the same after that so um, what you do is you go to the time tab up top and you stick your name right next to the symbol <coughs> 